I deliberately set fire to my colleague's script whilst they were live on air. <laughs> Wait. Mm. Was, was this a... Uh, did you say colleagues, as in this, this happened a lot, or the script belonging to one colleague? I used to do it on a regular basis. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> enough of your sex life, Terry. <laughs> you flatter me. <laughs> Is there footage of this, if it was live? It's sex life, I hope not. <laughs> Uh, no, there's no footage. It was in Ireland on Irish radio and it was just a little prank of mine to while my colleagues were reading the news or announcements, I would sneak in behind them and set fire to the script <laughs> from the bottom. So, so they, would, they would be holding these scripts in their hand? As it disappeared in front of them. This is the news. Often the news and sometimes a Beethoven concert. I, I was indiscriminate. Do you use matches? Because you'd hear the sound, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course. But I struck the matches before I came into the studio. I'm a swift mover. But you Safety can't, matches. You can't move too swiftly with a match because it goes out. Look, that's, that's what your jacket is for. You keep it in there, sneak in, they don't see you, you smile. <laughs> How did your victims react, Terry? I was the senior man, and uh, I took no nonsense. If they didn't like it, too bad. <laughs> Hang on, Terry, sorry. What year was this? Just after the Napoleonic Wars. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was about 21. Would the listeners ever get wind of the blaze? No, because th there's, there's no chance of any scent on the radio. But what I... <laughs> Um, so we think, what do we think? Kevin? I don't know, I think it, I think it, it would be common now. Okay, <coughs> Kevin thinks it's a lie. Yeah, I agree, I think we'd already know about this. Okay, so I think it's a lie. we'll go for a lie. You're saying that it's a lie. Terry Wogan, were you telling the truth or were you telling a lie? Oh.